guys and welcome to my channel today thank you for being there with me how is your day going hope everything is going all right with you um today i want to talk about an issue it's called a b token now there are many issues that are popping up and popping up some of them if you go through that white pass you'll see that some of them have a huge potential and some of them don't have a huge potential so how do we not distinguish between those who have huge potential and those who don't have potential and the first thing i want to say is i as a person i cannot cover all the icos so the fact that i covered an ico and i did not cover the other, another ico that does not mean the one i did not cover is not a good ico and neither does the one i'm covering the very best ico no i'm just covering i, I pick I, I go through the some of the the, the, the ico list and i see okay this one is a very good one i i it, I, I take it and i study so guys there are tons of icos projects that are out there within the crypto space but let's focus on what is before us what is uh the b token all about now the b token in a nutshell is a platform where it's like the mbmb of the blockchain so the b token are they pinpointed certain problems that has to do with the normal uh, system like uh, mbnb and the rest of them you already know the issues of review then the issues of payments then the issues of double payment and then the uh, then you now have the issues of uh, the uh, the many intermediaries and the rest of them so what about if you now have a system where you have blockchain and you now have uh, cryptocurrency so bringing cryptocurrency it means if I am sending money, you uh, I, I I saw I saw a house on this system which is called the Bitcoin system, uh, the, the Bitcoin system now, and I want to take the house. I just need to send money once and I get charged once. So there's nothing like uh, I'm being charged there and then the other person is being charged over the other place and it's very fast to actually get to the person. And now bringing the blockchain into their system. They identified the problem with the MBNB and the rest of them. The first problem, there is the problem of insecurity. Then there's a problem of uh, data. Your data could be taken without your knowledge. And then we now have the another issue that has to do with the issue of review. I think now I'm running a review on an ICO, and that ICO is is it looks very controversial because. I'm seeing some records on the internet, but I cannot access them because the the history has been deleted off the internet. And you know fully well, and if if uh, uh, like a Facebook group, if you say, if you type a message, someone can actually delete them. The, the the admin of that group or the page can actually delete that that content you create uh, you post there. So what about if we now have a system here, you can't delete it. You can't inflate it. You can't do anything. It's a very, it's, it's a, yeah, it will help a lot of uh, stuffs to actually go on. You know, if you go on uh, Google Play Store, or uh, I, I, I'm not, I'm not using an Android phone, but I, uh, I know about uh, Google Play Store. Now, the Google Play Store, you sometimes you, if you read through the review of an app, some persons will say, "Great app," and at the same time you will see, "This app sucks." This is the worst app. This is this. This is that. It's not working at all. And the rest of them, you're like, you're confused. What do I get in? So, if you are not reading those apps, those those apps, they can't delete them. But there is the issue of someone could buy up review. Someone can just wait, tell an app, person, okay, uh, um, sign up on my link, uh, download this video, and just comment. Inflate, get, let me get reviews from you. So, and you see a lot of people getting false reviews and you discover someone who has a very high rating when it comes to the issue of uh, performance you discover that they are nowhere to be found so it happens with people who have a uh, very good grades at school and uh, when it comes to the actual job they are not able to deliver so what would be token be able to do in a nutshell in a nutshell what btoken seeks to do is they want to bring in a system here um there are zero commissions on the part of the of the part of the um the house owner in on the part of the person who actually wants the service and not only that there is a uh, blockchain security there's topmost security that because a lot of hackers are actually targeting the system so there there's gonna be securities on the system 
and there is the issue of the immutable reviews so that is all in nutshell without uh, taking much of your time i, I, I want to try and make this video a little bit short as possible so when you go through the uh the ico team you discover that the team they have um they have very top guys in the team as advisors like you know richard ma uh, vito santos uh, from um, etokun you have can kinsango from uh, enigma uh, just top persons who are part of their advisory team and you see the team the lead developers and the, and the rest of them it's a very very good team i've gone through the white paper i have seen uh, the thing they want to do it's a very very good one so guys that is all i have about this uh about this video for now if there's any updates i'm going to update you so far so do have a very good one i will be updating you with the news later on in the day of the things that have been happening in the crypto space so with that thank you for being there with me so much bye